Great picture of the Statue of Liberty in the sunshine in New York Harbor. Good morning, everyone. It is 11 a.m. on the East Coast on this Thursday, September the 1st. I'm Ashley Webster in a today for Stuart Varney. Maybe a different month, but the same story. Uh, September picking up where August left off. The Dow is off oh, 250 points. The S&P down one and a quarter percent. The Nasdaq down 243 points, down 2%. The Nasdaq lost. 4.1% uh, uh, in the month of August and starting off September down 2%. Now, big tech names all in the red, Alphabet, Meta, Apple, Amazon, and Microsoft. Uh, among those, Microsoft down 2%. Meantime, the 10-year Treasury yield up nine basis points. This is this will really take the wind out of the big tech uh, uh, names at 3.28 now percent on the 10-year Treasury yield. So that really does take the wind out of the sails for a number of the equities, the big growth stocks. All right, come in, David Strajewski. Uh, David, good morning to you. I was reading your notes and I love it. It says... There are five things that move the markets, inflation, interest rates, what the Fed is doing, corporate earnings and geopolitical events. And you say there are risks in all of those areas. Yeah, that's right, Ashley. Thanks for, uh, for having me on here this morning. Uh, there yeah. are risks in all five of these areas right now. And uh, I just don't see a whole lot that I'm excited about today uh, as we uh, just you know crack September this morning. And, and historically, September, October are not great months. And uh, we've got a lot of negative headlines coming out of uh, Europe uh, right now. We're also seeing China in a recession, zero COVID policies, new taxation next year, new regulations uh, that, that are showing up. And uh, you know I think the uh, average American... Uh, right now is recognizing uh, whether the numbers accurately reflect that a recession's here. It's just it's hard times at minimum, and uh, and and we've got a little bit more to store ahead. So how do you uh, play this? What are you telling your clients while we look at the board again and it's all in the red? <laughs> well, great question. The the point is is that if we're going to need a parachute, we've got to secure one prior to the actual meeting of that day. And so uh, we have built and refined a process that we call CPR, uh, stands for cash protection and risk, three different categories of assets uh, that we need based upon time frames and liquidity needs, et cetera. So we know what cash assets are doing here today. Uh, the goal is to be liquid. Uh, the goal is to have uh, dollars available, maybe as dry powder to, to deploy back in when, when things go on sale again, uh, but also protected assets. And this is the part maybe that's a little bit more concerning. So the feds come out saying, hey, we're really gonna raise rates. They're probably going to raise rates until things break as well. And so with those rates rising, that has a very significant pressure on bonds, as well as those growth stocks, as we mentioned. We'll get there in a second. But the bonds have been the, the, the place that most people have said, hey, if I'm going to try to fight uh, uh, volatility, I need to load up on bonds and have less stocks. Uh, and, and then we've got the alternative side that says, hey, let's go risk on and beat inflation. Well, here's the point. Bonds aren't going to give us what we need relative to inflation today. So what people might be surprised by is that uh, investment uh, options like structured notes or fixed index annuities with a growth orientation to them can give us uh, defense on the downside, but at reasonable rates of return on the upside give us a little bit more peace and confidence uh, as, as we're looking at things. And then the third part is, is our risk assets. And so we want to look at our risk assets uh, in, in three different time frames, just kind of like a watch has three different time frames, an hour hand, a minute hand, and a second hand. And so in this case, we want to be making good decisions in the short term, midterm, and long term, and we will do so with the right investment strategy. So we want to deploy the right things at the right time. We're looking at more individual names today. Free cash flow is a good idea. And just things that you're going to be wanting to yeah. hold in a longer term, kind of based on the new economy that we're seeing right now. Great information. David, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Uh, again, as we see the Dow off 250 points. David, thank you.